We're back. It's time for the Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies. Top five here on the Sports Report. At number five, we head to Parkway. J.J. Toronte. J.J. Ward hooking up with the deep ball to Ronte Jackson. Part of a 35-6 victory for the Crestview Knights as they usher in the James Watson Heiser era with a win. At number four, we head to Harmon Field in Wapakoneta. Peyton Adi is a bad, bad man. You keep 71 yards to the house as the Flyers roll over the Redskins to get a week one victory. We head to Coldwater for number three, freshman Corbin Johnston. A little screen pass to Jarrett Jolliffe takes it 66 yards to the house. Look out for Johnston. He's going to be impressive this year for the Wildcats. At number two, it's twice his night. For Van Wertz, Aiden Pratt. Little quarterback power to get into the end zone as he drags a couple bodies. And then on the next possession as they open up the second half, you see it again. Pratt, once again, calls his own number, takes it to the end zone. The defending state champion Cougars open up the season with a dub. Pratt finishes up his debut at quarterback, going for 340 yards, three rushing touchdowns, and four passing touchdowns in the Cougar win. At number one, we head back to Coldwater, the Division VI state champions, and Tanner Mullenkamp. Off of the ensuing kickoff from the Jared Jolliffe touchdown at number three, Tanner Mullenkamp takes it 82 yards for the house, right down the sideline in front of the WOSN cameras as Coldwater rolls over Kenton in week one. And that's your top five here on the Sports Report.